right out the front door of our place, there's a different market every day with different vendors. Today we can get jeans and shoes. Well, we were gonna go see the Terracotta Soldiers today, but we were tired, so we just chilled. This is the first time we've left the room. Till tomorrow. <laughs> Till tomorrow. Yeah. But this is why we just wander around and take random streets. We found this awesome temple and really old wall. We had no idea it was even down here. Ah, this is the famous Shan Mosque. I'm really grateful we get to visit so many historically interesting places. And uh, this one's definitely up there. There's some really old stuff around here. I wasn't gonna record in there, I was just gonna eat, but this little plate of rice and veggies just done from the Xi'an Mosque is the best thing we've had to eat here yet. It's amazing. It's really good. <laughs> we just walked past here and found this ice cream place. It's homemade ice cream. <laughs> It's so good. Yum. It was uh, 30 cents. This is a great little road to wander down. Yeah. This is the coolest place we're coming back here. There's a conveyor belt. You pay a set price and you just take what you want as it goes by. This whole place is lit up so brightly and beautiful. All these buildings are highlighted. The roads are gorgeous. Amazing what you can do with LED. <laughs> That's the drum tower behind me. It's even better at night. It's amazing. Holy cow, that is the bell tower. It's a crackdown on illegal vendors, but we got grilled potatoes, and then we we'll fry them up, throw some spices in it. Because you know we got to have some sausage to go with our potatoes. We're just here watching some Chinese TV. We cannot recommend the Alley Youth Hostel enough. The staff is amazing. Everybody speaks English, which we've had some friends staying at more expensive hotels around that um, have trouble with that. Rooms are comfortable, breakfast included. It's like $22 a night. Thank you. The cheapest room we found in China, and this is the nicest room we've had in China yet. Mm -hmm. And again, the staff is amazing. For those who like elevators, there's no elevator. And they have a cat. His name is Bell Tower. I get my cat fix every morning. I get to pet him and every night when I go to bed. <laughs> my bus is a little more daunting than, uh, than Hong Kong or Macau. But we think we got on the right bus and we're gonna see where it goes. More to follow, or maybe not. Oh, have exact change because I won't give you change. On the right side, we're just heading straight west. On the not so bright side, we need to be going northeast. Here's to hoping it's a loop. <laughs> Someday. <laughs> so the directions we got weren't exactly great. Uh, we got driven a long ways from where we were and then kicked off the bus at the end of the line. So uh, we gotta go find that same line and go back a long ways. <laughs> but hey, adventure. So we found the same bus line heading the other direction. So if all goes well, he will be where we were trying to go, which is the other bus station to go try and see the Terracotta Warriors. So, <laughs> fingers crossed. Big Ben kids, Parliament. I'm not big on that. 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 I
research, we're now on the proper bus to get all the way out to the mausoleum site, which is where the Terragata soldiers are. This is quite a wonderful experience, just the whole everything. We haven't even seen the soldiers yet. Even in the tourist hotspot of Xi'an, which is way easier we hear than some places, you need to prepare. Because we've prepared, so we're taking it easy, but we already got stranded this morning. So. If you like our video, leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good.